Hi guys, got another big order to unpack today. This week I kind of went a little nuts. Got to looking at the regular restock stuff and I needed several things and there was some cool stuff on the list. So with no further ado, let's get going and see what we got. First thing out of the box is red panda barbs. Panda barbs, of course, get the three inch plus range. Nice big barb. Get the nice bright red in them. Super cool fish. Unusual. Nice size on those, too. Next out, we have powder blue grommies. These are the females. Been getting a few requests in for female dwarf grommies. So here are powder blue female dwarf grommies. Nice size and shape on those. Hopefully they will hold up. Um, Cynodonis Decorus. Nice looking fish. Huge fan of catfish in general and these Cynodons are absolutely gorgeous. Seems to me I got a fairly decent price on these guys. We'll get the price on those when we get the final video. Neat, neat fish. Just a couple of those. Uh, oh, these are small. These are L190 Royal Plecos. They came in pretty inexpensive. But as you can see, pretty small. Alrighty, next up we have oh, more dwarf grommies. These are the boys, the Powder Blue Dwarf Grommy Boys. You'll probably say that more succinctly. Male Powder Blue Dwarf Grommies. There we go. And let's see. One more bag here. Kind of went Grommy nuts this week. These are Sunset Honey Dwarf Grommies. Nice size on those guys. They always come in a little smaller than the Powder Blues and the Flames. But uh, good color. Decent size. That's another one of those little plecos. The L190s. And here we have green tiger barbs. Apparently I had to restock a couple different types of barbs this week. Nice green color to them. On a small size, but good. Fat bellies, I like those. Those look good. And last out of this big, honey dwarf grommies. Now those are pretty tiny. So the difference between the honey dwarf and the sunset honey dwarf, besides size in this case, the so sunsets are going to be more red. These guys, as they get bigger, they'll get a dark patch and then more of a yellow color. Really a striking fish. Neat history on those two if you ever get a chance to ask them about it. Alrighty, that's it for box number one. We'll move on to our next box. Alrighty, here we go with box number two. Let's see what kind of treasures we can untroll. First out of the box, we have Cardinal Tetris. This week we went with Wild Cardinals. We'll go interchangeably between the tank race and the wild, depending on which looks better at the wholesaler in a particular week. Next up, we have Tiger Barbs. Of course, we have green Tiger Barbs in the last box, regular Tiger Barbs in this one. Again, on the small side, but uh, nice fat bellies. Good looking fish. And these are baby super red bushy nose plecos. Half a dozen of those guys. Some of those are on the small side, but some of them actually got a little bit of size to them. Super red bushies. I've also got the long, couple of the long fins still. Super cool. These are Nutha Branches Guntheri. If you can say that five times fast. These are the Gunther Skilly. The bright one there, of course, is the boy. The little silver one's a female. These guys are pretty aggressive. You got to be careful with them. And they shipped them together. You can see the female even got nicked a little bit in shipping. Uh, we are real careful to keep those girls in good shape. Oh, 
quintessential nano fish here. These are scarlet battis. They're like a Asian version of a cichlid almost. These guys only get to about an inch. Nice size and nice color on these guys. I'm pretty happy with those. Sometimes I get them half that size. Next up, these have been super hard to get lately, and some of these are tiny, but they're a small fish anyway. These are rocket clown killies. Rocket clowns, you can tell the difference between the males and the females by the little spike on their tail when they color up. You can tell by the color too. Pretty happy with a couple of new offerings for the nano selection this month. Let's see. Been out of these for a little while. This is what I consider a regular stock item. Articulated hill stream loaches. Super cool. One of my absolute favorite fish in the whole world. And yes, I have a lot of favorite fish. Went ahead and doubled up and got a big order of these because we've been out for a while and I have a lot of requests. So there you go. Articulated hill stream loaches. More nano fish. These are Boras Mera or Phoenix Rasbora. Big fan of the little mosquito rasboras in general. These guys are the Phoenix. You ever want to drive yourself crazy? Spend some time looking at uh, pictures of the different boras, the mosquito rasboras, and then try to figure out who's who. They look a lot the same. It can drive you crazy, but that's what we do. We're fish people, right? Here we go with box number three. Let's see if I remember what we got in here. Seems like Monday was so long ago. First thing out of the box, I've got St. Elmo's Fire Swords. I absolutely love this plant. Not quite as big as they come in sometimes, but at least the price is pretty decent. We got the bright red in the center. Super cool plant. Red the uh, new leaves are on those. Absolutely gorgeous. Half a dozen of those guys. So they'll still be at that ten dollar special. Alrighty, and what we got going next here is black worms, and they look really good this week. Last week's end up being pretty nasty. Sometimes that happens. It's always a good idea to get your order in early just in case we have a bad week on black worms. Uh, comets. Feeder goldfish. Pretty big this week. Some of those guys didn't make the trip, but we got enough there. We fill your orders again on those guys. If you want a big bunch of them, let me know. We do a discount on feeders if you have pre-ordered. Uh, these are... Ranchu or lionhead goldfish. Cute little buggers. They're pretty good actually. Small guys, small tails. Just what they're supposed to be. Looks like they iced the heck out of these guys and they did so much better than they did last week. So that's it for box number three. Let's see what we got in box four. Here we go with box number four and this may be our last box. We have one box that didn't show up this week. Probably be in either later today or early tomorrow. Hopefully everybody will be in good shape. But for now, box number four. And uh, here's baby bushy nose plecos. Better size on these than the last batch. They look pretty good. I've got a batch of baby bushies that are just about ready to come up. They probably have three or four more weeks. We're still importing them though. Uh, next up we have teeny tiny Siamese algae eaters. I think these are the smallest SAEs I've ever got. Which the upside is they're going to be three bucks, which is nice and cheap. I have five dollar size also, which are actually four times this size. So these get a little more size on them. The five dollar ones might be a better deal. But there we have three dollar special Siamese algae eaters. I guess for your nano tank until they get bigger. Next up, 
Pandagoras. Itty bitty Pandagoras. Got a larger size of Pandagara in that delinquent box. We'll see if they make the trip. I think these are the smallest Pandagaras I've ever seen, actually. I guess it's a day for smallest ever. We have black angels. Looks like some of them are the lace and some of them aren't. Everybody seems to have made the trip. Get those guys acclimated up. Nice black angels for us. And the bag of angels. These are marbles. These are the black marble variety, not the gold marble. Water looks a little like it needs a change in, but that's good because we'll do that in a second. But the fish all look good, good margins. Nice restock on angels. Those small angels came in actually really big, so that'll be a good deal. So let's get them cleaned up and ready to go. And more of the Japanese blue guppies. I only bring them in a dozen at a time because sometimes guppies don't ship that well. Don't want to encourage our wholesaler into shoving too many of them in a bag and limit our exposure if they're not in good shape. And I keep bringing them in, you guys keep buying them. These guys look awesome. Still have a few of the, yeah, I got a few of the red Japanese guppies left and some of the green snake skins. If you're looking for any other varieties on the guppies, more of them are starting to show up, so let me know. Uh, we'll get whatever color, whatever variety you like. And, uh, that's it for this box. All right, guys, here we go with box number, I think this is box number five. These two came a little late. Let's check and see how they did. I took a sneak peek to make sure that everybody was swimming. When they take an extra day in shipping, especially when it's as hot as it is, it's a concern. These guys seem to have done just fine. These are large Pandagaras. Oh my gosh, those look really nice. Really good size on those guys. Probably four times the size of the little ones we got yesterday. A little more expensive, but a lot bigger. Here we have some Severums. These are the Rock Kelly. No, these are the River Cures. The Tigers, they'll call them. Tiger Severum. As opposed to the Red Bellies, which are the Rock Kellys, which I also think we're going to be eating in this box or the next one. Here they are, the Rock Kellys. They're smaller, they don't have any color on them yet, but those guys will call them uh, Red Belly. We have about three different varieties of uh, wild type Severums with a nice red saddle on them. The Red Shoulder, the Red Belly, and the uh, Red Necked. Let's see, here I have one Zigzag Eel. I ordered six, so maybe we only got one. Nice size on this guy. We had some last week. They flew out of here the week before. That's a great add to your community tank. Good size on them. Here we have some Corys. These are leopard Corys, I'm sure. Yep, they are. Cory Doris and Leopardus. Nice size on these guys. Good price. In the six to seven dollar range. Really nice Cory. Similar to the Julie's. Usually come in bigger than the so, uh, last thing out of this box is uh, you can't tell, but these are exclamation point rest guaras. Yep, now I can see the little exclamation point. Again, love the little guaras or the mosquito rasboras. They make a great add to any nano tank. That's everything for this box. All right, here we go with the last box. I think this is box number six. Crazy big order for almost August. Here we have, oh, very nice. These are electric blue Acaras. Nice size on these, and we're still gonna be able to do them at the $10 that we've been doing them at. And I had them for a couple weeks. Nice looking fish, good size, good color. Those sort of look very nice. Pista Grama Cockatoides Super Red. 
about twice the size of the last one's a great red. It looks like a lot of boys in this group. Might be a girl or two. Beautiful fish. Those are always fun. And next we have one Lemon Oscar. Is there a little black on the edges there, but nice yellow color to the pattern. I think I've got a couple of these guys in here. That's not a lemon Oscar, that is a Fajaca puffer. Baby Fajacas, remember these guys get 16, 18 inches long. Big, fat, giant fish, 90 gallon or more for them when they get bigger. Of course, it'll take a while for a baby like this to get that size, but you want to plan for a monster if you get into a Fajaca. Big appetites, big fish. Sitting up, we have are you guys? Oh, rainbow cichlids. Wasn't even sure that's what those were because the color seems off. Of course, they're a little bit stressed from shipping. Get a nice gold to brown color on these guys as they get bigger. Super cool. Not so aggressive or huge uh, Central American or South American cichlid. Next we have another lemon Oscar. It's kind of dark, but that's probably because he's a little stressed on his shipping. One more lemon Oscar. You can take a quick look at this guy. There's those guys. And more promies. Very good bright colors on these guys. Nice fat foreheads. Good looking grommies. Then we have oh, wild pygmy quarries. Nice size on them. Pygmy quarries, of course, only get about an inch. You have a hard time seeing them in the bag. But uh, nice big, when I say that in parentheses, big pygmy quarries. Literally half again bigger than we get them on average. Last thing out of the box is Bolivian Rams. And they look really good. Nice colors on these guys. I think it's kind of funny they call them a ram because they're related, of course, to the blue rams, which are scientific name of Microgeophagus ramirezi. These are Microgeophagus altipanosa or something like that. No ram involved, but we still call them rams. Got a really exceptional group of mixed African cichlids in here right now. Several different batches, lots of variety, great colors, great big Maganis, different zebras. Actually, I got this one oddball in here. He's a convict. He's not an African cichlid at all. I don't think I've had a uh, convict in this store for the three years I've been here. Anyway, good time to pick up a mixed African group. The big guys are 11 bucks, or excuse me, 12, 11.99. The little guys are eight bucks. Great colors. Good time to pick out some another group of Africans we got in. Seriously, pretty marmalade-looking dudes. These guys get good size on them, but we'll go ahead and put them on the small special for eight dollars a piece. Got the pink ones too. Got in a big bunch of mixed fancy goldfish. Some telescopes, some marandas. A couple of them got some oddball growths on them. But that guy's monstrous. Not sorted out prices on everybody yet, but We'll be putting them out there at a very favorable rate. Also got in these little ranchers. Just a limited number of these long fin albino bushies. These are fanatics grown. Good size on them actually. Full inch plus on their body without the tails. And of course we make long tails on them too from my big male that's got just insane long fence. Just a 
couple of them that are big enough to go. We got another batch coming up pretty soon. There are 13 of them. Cynodonus lucipennis or Cynodonus um, petricoli, probably petricoli by the size. Got these guys private party. Got two of them, nice and big guys, pretty much full size. These guys came in private party also. These are a golden psalm, they'll call them. Uh, they're a version of a green terror. Big, beautiful fish. The guy was working on a breeding project that he had all males. One that's a little nicked up. But, uh, four of those guys are big and gorgeous. We're gonna let those go for just 20 bucks. These guys are full size or at least grown out macaw cichlids. Super cool and beautiful. Prettiest ones hacking back there. He's, see if he'll come out for us. Uh, a couple of pears, they were actually odd eggs. The fella gave up on his breeding project. That guy's a little nicked up. But there he is, that's a real pretty one right there. I think the Caraglensis or Macaw cichlid is one of the most beautiful Central American cichlids out there. Uh, we're going to let these go at 20 bucks as well. These guys are giant rainbow cichlids. Sold these to a fella who was putting them in a tank that he wanted to plant and they were upending and destroying all the plants he was trying to do. So I brought them back. Super cool, super beautiful rainbow sabrum. Those are the full size adult wild rock kills. The rock kills. Gorgeous fish. Alrighty guys, that's everything for this order. And we're excited about what we have to offer and we're getting geared up for next week's order. Uh, your part in that, of course, is to uh, mash that like button if you like what you're seeing and let me know what you're not seeing that you want to see. We do special orders all the time, so contact us by Monday. Monday's our order day and we get stuff in. The special orders, we like to have them picked up between about 4 and 6 on Monday, uh, unless you make other arrangements with me. Remember, we're doing special pricing if you're pre-ordering on your feeder items, your black worms, your ghost shrimp, feeder comets, and feeder guppies also. Uh, all those likes you guys been hitting my way and those comments that you've been doing have been helping me out tremendously I see that you guys like the new format and I listen so don't hesitate let us know remember to contact us on Facebook when you get here to do curbside all you have to do is call into the shop number let us know you're here we'll bring it right out to you uh, we're here for you guys I have a lot of people asking whether or not we're going to be open in this phase 1.5. The answer is not yet. I still haven't figured out a way to make that work in any kind of reasonable fashion. Still working on it, and as soon as we have an answer for that for you, you'll be the first to know. We'll announce it right away. But for now, we're still going to stick with the curb service. It's working pretty well for us. Uh, keep letting us know what it is you want to see. We're doing everything we can to get video content up that helps you pick out what you want. Again, I know this is less than ideal, but it's a whole lot better than starting something up and then having to shut it all back down again. So that's what we got for this week, guys. We'll catch you again next week.